Welcome to Gray and Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle with center at O in this uh, uh, hexagon with uh, the sides of uh, 47 units for the three sides and 26 units for the three other three sides. And uh, we are required to find the uh, radius of this uh, circle. Okay, so we can start by drawing uh, segments uh, from the center of this uh, circle to the segment. So we can actually draw this uh, line AO and BO and so on. Okay, so next is how we can label the following angles opposite uh, every corresponding side so for the 47 so we can label this as alpha so alpha for the 47 uh, unit uh, uh, chord and for this uh, 26 unit the opposite of that the angle we can label this as the same angle beta for the 3 26 Okay, so uh, we have to recall that the angle, total angle in a circle in a revolution is 360 degrees. So since we have uh, this uh, angle, so we just need to add this uh, 3 alpha, alpha plus 3 beta is equal to the total of uh, 360 degrees. So we can factor out a 3 and we have uh, alpha plus beta is equal to 360. We can simply divide both sides by 3. So we have uh, alpha plus beta is equal to 120 degrees. So this is uh, 120 degrees. Okay, so next is we consider this uh, angle. So this angle, the 2 alpha and 2 beta. So if this is 120 degrees, so this should be a 240 degrees. So to complete a whole revolution of 360 degrees. Okay, so next is uh, we draw a line from uh, uh, this uh, from this point A to C. Okay, so notice that uh, this uh, angle the central angle uh, 240 of 240 degrees is uh, twice of this angle at uh, this angle at B. So, so if that is twice, so this should be uh, 120 degrees. Okay, so next is uh, we focus on the circle uh, ABC, so this uh, circle ABC. And uh, we can actually use cosine law and to find the unknown length AC. Uh, we, are, we are already given this uh, length of uh, AB and BC and the included angle is 120 degrees. Okay, so using uh, cosine law, uh, we have uh, AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared minus uh, 2 times uh, AB times AC times cosine of uh, 120 degrees. So AC squared equal to AB is 47 square plus uh, 26 square minus 2 times 47 times 26 cosine of uh, 120 
Okay, so but uh, let us set aside the uh, equation and we focus on cosine uh, 120. So cosine of 120 degrees is uh, this. Uh, this is the angle, so 120. So this is 90. So this is uh, this should be 30. 30. So counterclockwise. So 120. So this this is a uh, 30-60-90 triangle. So this is actually a two, and this is a uh, one and this is a square root of three okay so cosine of uh, uh, 120 is we are going to get the x component because it is cosine so the x component is actually uh, this uh, length this one one unit length so it is uh, like uh, this uh, uh this uh, opposite side of 30 so but negative because we are here on the negative uh, negative side of this uh, x uh, x coordinate so 30 so it will be the opposite side of this uh this triangle so one over two so opposite side over this uh, hypotenuse so this will be uh, equal to one over two but since we are on the left uh, side so this will become one half I this will become I mean negative so cosine of 120 degrees is equal to negative one half. Okay, so going back to this uh, equation. So we have AC squared is equal to 47 square plus 26 square minus. This becomes a uh, uh, negative one half so this will become plus or well, this is plus and this cancels out so 47 times 26 okay so simplifying so ac square is equal to this becomes 2209 and this becomes a 676 plus uh, 1,422 and if you simplify further uh, this becomes uh, 4,107 and uh, this is actually uh, AC square is equal to 37 square times 3 this, this 4,107 so if we get the square root of both sides so we have AC is equal to 37 square of 3 by units. Okay, so next is we can isolate this uh, ACO. So AC is uh, 37 square root of 3. And this uh, angle of O is uh, 120 degrees. And uh, of course, we label this uh, AO to be the radius of this, uh, the R, the radius of the circle. And we can actually uh, draw a line vertically from O upwards. And we form a, this uh, perpendicular uh, angle, this angle. And if this is uh, 90, then we divide this angle by 2. So this becomes 60 and this becomes uh, 30 degrees.
And the this length is actually a 37 over 2. 37 over 2 square root of 3. Okay, so next is uh, we actually write this uh, uh, R. This is 37. Uh, this is R times cosine cosine of 30 degrees will give us this uh, length 37 over 2 over 2 square root of 3. And cosine of 30 is actually a square root of 3 over 2. So R times a square root of 3 over 2 is equal to 37 times over 2 times square root of 3. So we can actually cancel this out square root of 3, square root of 3, and 2, and 2. So we are left with R for the load used to be a 37. Uh, units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye